Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. Um, so this video was supposed to come out a few days ago, but with <laughs> my luck I got food poisoning so that was joyful. But by the title of this video it's going to be a little bit kind of like a story time, kind of just like talking things out I guess. So what I mean by simple respect is that a lot of people, I feel like, get that very confused with, like, ego, I guess. Um, I'm finding that, or, like, they think that, you know, if you show, like, I guess, respect, you know, it's kind of like you want your hand held or, like, you're just, like, looking for, like, praise. And, you know, honestly... I think a lot of people have lost simple respect for individuals and it just kind of saddens me. Like, is everybody so in that mindset of like competing with each other and being on top and just not, I guess, being a team player and just showing each other respect? I don't know. Maybe I'm old fashioned. Um, you know, I was born in the early... Uh, um, well, not early, but I was born in 1993, right? So I was still born in the 90s, um, like the early 90s. And it's just that I'm finding as like time goes on that respect people had for each other aren't, isn't what it, it's not there anymore. And what I mean is, you know, just, you know, reaching out to somebody and, you know, just showing them that courtesy, especially, like, at work. Um, and this is kind of, like, where story time comes in uh, to this video. Is there was a situation that happened at work. And, you know, I haven't been doing this job for a very long time. Like, I started in, like, the last few weeks of May and then just got my footing in early June and then forward you know we're just hitting August now so I haven't been you know there for long and there was a situation at work that came up and there was an emergency and I was left alone with no like guidance basically um I kind of had to figure out everything on my own and you know cancel appointments and stuff and I literally just had to do shit on my own you know and like when I asked for help from like another department, it was kind of like there, but it wasn't there. And it's just like, well, you know, don't push yourself too hard. That's kind of like the attitude that I got. And like, I don't know, like, as a like manager, I would assume um, that you would reach out because like, just because you're not working that day doesn't I mean, I, like, this is why I'm saying, like, I'm very old-fashioned, that I wouldn't, you know, n want to know what's going on. Like, if I'm not there, it's my day off or whatever. And, you know, it's just, it was just mind-blowing to me that, like, n my manager didn't reach out to me. That I'm pretty sure word got back to her that, like, shit hit the fan and there was, like, a whole bunch of shit and, like, I was left alone and not even to have the courtesy or the respect to reach out to me and be like, hey, do you need anything? You know, I heard something's going on. Like, reach out to me if you need to. Like, it, there wasn't, like, that lifeline that was given to me. Like, I just had to, like, sink or swim type of thing on my own. And then not even to, like, reach out. And then, like, a few days later, like, kind of, like, not ream my ass, but kind of get frustrated on, like, something that I handled it. Like, something that I did and the way I handled it, like, booking an appointment or whatever it was. And it's just, like, first of all, like, I was left alone, okay? Like, I, I took guidance from, like, a manager that wasn't in this department, um, that kind of oversees everything. And, you know, I took my guidance from that person because they were the higher up and I haven't been there that long and like I have never been in a situation like this before at this job so I listened to the higher up you know that respect right 
and you know it, it just ended up being a complete shit show and apparently like I wasn't supposed to do that and stuff and it's just like you know I didn't like you didn't have the respect enough to reach out to me like I don't give a fuck if it was your day off just not having that respect enough to reach out to me and you know say like hey if you need anything let me know like whatever like I don't think it was my responsibility to well shit was on fire to like take five minutes and like you know kind of just reach out to my manager who I don't know like I was busy doing shit like you know I think it's your responsibility if you are overseeing a department to make sure everything is running smoothly and when it doesn't kind of like step in and it's just like that respect wasn't there and I'm finding that more and more like in different situations that people just don't have that respect or the ego gets in the way and they think that if you know you're not looking for praise but just that like respect to have that courtesy of reaching out or just being like hey thanks for handling that situation you know I know that was really stressful um or like you know you didn't expect that thank you for handling it you know maybe we could take the time to like talk about it and run through like other things that could possibly come up that type of thing I wasn't looking for an ego like somebody to stroke my ego like I was just looking for that respect to be like hey thanks for handling that situation like it had nothing to do with my ego it's just having that respect to be like hey you know thank you type of thing it, like again I didn't get that or I didn't receive that and you know again my ego is not like wounded or anything it's just kind of like well I know where that respect kind of lies type of thing and I'm the type of person that if something doesn't seem like a miss or whatever I ask a lot of questions and I feel like that rubs people the wrong way um it's how I learn like if something doesn't like I know things can have go multiple ways right so if I learn different tricks and nicks and just you know learn as much as I can that by meaning asking a lot of questions and kind of like observing and stuff and I think it that just kind of like annoys people and I'm just like okay you have been here for a long time at said place or whatever and if a lower person on the totem pole I hate that fucking term but whatever it is what it is a person who hasn't been there and they want to shadow you or they want to ask questions or they want to get that information and you know you're kind of like shutting them down or showing annoyance and not showing them that respect of like hey you want to learn hey I'll show you like I'll, I'll show you that respect right and it's just like I don't know why people have such issues with just showing people respect it has nothing to do with ego and I feel like a lot of people get those like I don't know mixed up and I'm not even saying like just from this job like I've experienced it before where it's just like my previous job a few years ago before this it's just like my boss just thought like everybody was beneath them and like to talk to us like we were stupid and like if a mistake was made it wasn't just like you know it wasn't enough to show you respect as a human being there was no respect there you, she treated you like you were garbage like you were nothing like you were literally beneath her and it's like not even taking that time to like explain or like being annoyed like with that you have to explain a certain way it's just like well first of all this is like the way that you want it done right and like I, I was a nanny okay and I was in charge of basically running a household and taking care of kids and stuff and you know I reported to the parent and it's just like if you don't have that respect for me as a human being how do you expect me to fucking run basically your household type of thing right and it's just like and the worst thing is she wouldn't come and talk to me I mean there was like a few occasions where she would like face to face she would yell at me um instead of talking to me like I was a human being she would degrade me or she would talk to me through texts and not want to talk like on the phone and 
and or like when we were talking on the phone she would be like like very demanding and like I don't know like for she basically she wanted everything to be dropped at at a dime so like you know when I'm talking to other parents at the school like you know not like anything about the kids just like oh hey are you doing like you know just checking in being nice and like I'm having a conversation with a human being and I don't necessarily pick up your phone the phone right away because I'm having a conversation with children and adults and then when I get like the phone call or whatever and this this happened like not every day but on occasion and it's like when I finally call back like hey so I was talking to like a parent um and all that and like she would just rip me a new asshole like, it was just, like, you're supposed to pick up, like, what the hell's wrong with you type of thing. Like, there was no respect at all. And, you know, for the longest time, I just thought it was me. I was like, well, like, okay, like, does this have to do with my ego? Like, I, for me, like, I thought I was wrong, in the wrong, for, like, wanting to have that, like, respect. And, you know, when I came to realize that it had nothing to do with my ego, like, I don't give a shit about my ego... Um, it was just like wanting respect as a human being, you know, and it's just like, I, I just wasn't getting that. And then it's just like, now in this job, I'm kind of getting the same thing as like, there's no respect. And it's just like, I, I don't understand it. I honestly, I don't understand what's wrong with not wanting to respect one another and respect that people want to learn and they want to listen and they want to be part of the like community and again it, like it has nothing to do with the whole ego it's just wanting to have that mutual respect and if it's just a one-way respect that's not it's not gonna work type of thing right and again, you can't really force it, right? But like for me, I'm always, I was always that type of person that was raised to show respect, right? To your elders, to people that are older than you, basically to anybody, right? Just to have that respect. And, you know, just going out into the world, I guess, and experiencing what it's like for people not to ha like give that respect in return it's just it just boggles my mind because it just doesn't take like a lot of effort it doesn't it just it doesn't like you really don't have to do anything it's just having that mutual respect showing that you know you 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 see that respect from the other person that you know you want to have a, a conversation you want to communicate you know you want to not talk down to that person but talk as an equal in a way even though like you, you know they might have more experience but having that kind of like mutual respect and that kind of like hey you know what like I'll not that necessarily I'll take you under my wing wing but I will sh you know if you want to learn I will for sure teach you and stuff or you know, listen or whatever, having that just mutual respect. And yes, people are going to say respect is earned. And yes, to an extent, there can always be that mutual respect going into something, right? And then build off of that and have more respect for the person and uh, grow, right? But, you know, if you just go in with, I guess, your ego and, you know, act like you know it all or just act like people are beneath you. That's not respect at all. That's not showing other people respect. That's not respecting yourself. That's just, it's not, I don't know. I don't even know if this is going to make sense to anybody else. But I guess, you know, this is what it is. It's just, I don't know. It just, again, just blows my mind. It's just like, I don't know. You know, just simple respect that it's not hurt. It is not difficult. It's, I don't know. And, you know, for people who are kind of feeling like, oh, it's their fault, don't. You know, if you go in, again, everybody kind of has an ego. And, like, for me, I know I don't really have one. Like, I know 
everybody does. I'm well aware that, like, you know, sometimes it's like, hey, you know, I did a good job. Pat on the back, right? But I never go in looking for praise. You know, I'm, I'm always the type of person that wants to learn that, hey, maybe this worked out, but what if it doesn't type of thing, you know? What if you run into a situation? I'm always the type of person that wants to learn. Yes, I do sometimes pat myself on the back and be like, hey, good job, girl. You did it. Yay. <laughs> Look at you go. Um, and then, you know, I grow from it. I don't kind of like be like, <laughs> I know it all type of thing now because I know for me, you know, I'm never going to know everything. I'm never going to be perfect at a job. You know, it, it's always about learning and growing and change, you know, but again, just going in with kind of having that respect of like, hey, somebody knows something more than you, um, respect that and learn from it if you want to. You don't have to treat them shitty. You don't have to treat them with attitude. Just, again, have that mutual respect, right? And, you know, when I don't get that in return, it makes me sad because it's just like, Again, I'm not asking for much. And it's like, I know you know more than me in this area. I get that. Like, I'm not coming in here trying to be like, hey, bitch, move out of the way type of thing. It just honestly makes me kind of sad. It's just like, I don't know. There's just not... Like, just... Why don't you just have that respect for that person? Like, hey, I respect you. You want to learn, you know, from this. Like, there's not... Like, you know, it's just not that difficult. And I don't know. I honestly, I don't know. I guess a lot of the time ego gets in the way. And we just live in this world that's always competitive and always trying to up the other person, you know, and beat out um, each other. And I just think that's just so wrong or like everybody's looking for an alternative uh, like another motive or like just like some type of way to like bring bring down a person and it's just like I just like I don't have energy for that I don't like it just uh I don't know I don't know it just honestly doesn't give that much just to have simple respect you know for whatever Yes. Do people turn out to be douchey? Yes. And does the respect for that person change? Yes, it does. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be a dick or a douche in return. You know, you are your person and you can make decisions by either taking yourself out of that situation, moving on, doing what's best for you. It doesn't mean just because they're douchey that, you know, you have to be like, hey, like, you know, in return. Yes, your respect for them will change, but that's, you know, when I, my last job, when I completely lost respect for my boss, I knew it was totally time to, to leave. I knew that was the best decision for me, health-wise. Like, I was really not in a good mental state, physical state, spiritual state. Like, it, it was bad. Um... And, you know, I didn't want to give up on the kids that I was looking after. And I felt shitty for taking myself out of that situation for feeling like I walked away from the kids, right? But when you don't, when you see that you are being run into the ground and that that person has no respect for you whatsoever on any form, um... It's time to leave that situation. Yes. Is it fucking difficult? Yes. You know, I'm not going to sit here and say that it was the most easiest decision for me to leave that, that, that place. It, I'm not going to lie. It took me a good solid year, year and a half to leave, um, that workplace and it got shittier, <laughs> shittier in that year and a half. Right. And then I just had enough and I said, no, I, I have to do what's right for me. And I had that self-respect for myself to be like, hey, girl, you need to put yourself first and, you know, my respect for that person changed. Did I lose it completely? I would, I, I would hope that I didn't, um, but it got to that point where it's just like, this is, 
Like, I don't want to lose my total respect for a human being type of thing, right? Um, so yeah, I took myself out of that situation. It was fucking tough. Um, and, you know, it kind of weighed on me for a very long time. But the respect for me as a human being was not there from my boss. And I was being treated terribly. And I made that decision to walk away. And it, it ended up being a really good, healthy decision for me. Uh, mentally, you know, I got in a good mental place and whatnot. And I just, I guess I'm just kind of making this as like, I don't know, a journal or a diary. Um, but if anybody can take anything away from this, that's good, I guess. <laughs> I mean, you know, hey, sharing experiences, that's a good thing. But my whole point is that I don't want to get to a point where um, in this job, I get to that, that point where it's just like, I know I'm not getting respect. Um, and like, I will never get that respect type of thing. Like I'm, I, I, I feel like I'm getting somewhat of, of respect from my other like coworkers and stuff. You know, it varies because of experience and whatnot, which is fine. But there is that common respect, right? But there are certain people there that aren't giving me any respect that, you know, again, I'm not looking for a good pat on the head or like a good, you know, you kind of like hand holding type of thing. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for that respect. And I know that there are certain people that aren't giving me that respect and probably never will. Um, but again, I just don't want to get to that point where it's a very unhealthy situation for me. Um, you know, I'm learning with this job. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but my hands are pretty shitty. They're in really shitty condition. We can't really see it that well. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, oh we had focus for a minute, but yeah, it's like peeling and stuff. Um, I have a very, very I haven't actually shared this on here, here yet. Um, rare skin, uh, dermatitis, I think it's called. Um, from when I burnt my hands in my college years for culinary school, um, it, it killed a lot of nerves in, I think, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's like a color change that you can see. It's like pink and then kind of not pink. Um, that's basically dead cells. And what this does is over time it reacts to everything. And it sucks. <laughs> um, that's going to be a whole other video, but, um, yeah, it's, it's affecting my job and it's affecting my life, but Hey, um, and I just don't like, I know, you know, again, you guys have seen this. I've, my, sh my health has been shitty and I guess that's pissed off a few people that I work with and, you know, Hey, it's out of my hands. And if, you want to lose respect for me because of that, then that's fucking stupid. You know, I can't help that my health is shitty, right? But anyways, um, so yeah, that's something that I'm dealing with. And when I say that it reacts to, um, all materials, it's, it's interesting. And I will do a full video on that, um, after, so I guess I'm kind of leaving that as a cliff cliffhanger. I apologize, but that's going to be, a, a, it's going to be a whole video because trust me, you all going to be mind blown with that one. It's fucking interesting as shit, <laughs> um, as I'm learning. But anyways, yes, back to ADD brain, back on track. Um, but yeah, why I brought up that, that the skin thing is because like, I know that it frustrates, again, some of my people because I have to bandage up my fingers because they split open and bleed and it's painful and it pisses off people and I don't know why. It's like, if you're losing respect for me because of that, then again, that's a big, like, what the fuck, why? Like, that's just pointless type of thing. But anyways, um, I, back on track here with the whole, I think people just need to let their egos go and be willing to have that mutual respect of like, hey, I can learn from you. I know you know more than me type of thing. And just letting that ego go, I think would help a lot of people and would make 
the world a little bit less stressful than it is. But anyways, guys, before I ramble off onto another fucking weird topic, um, I'm going to leave it there. And I hope everybody is having a good start to the week. Yeah, I, uh, I got food poisoning. That was exciting. Um, I've been on my back for two days, um, in between vomiting. That was fun. Uh, TMI, by the way. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm back. I'm alive. <laughs> Hi. Um, but yeah, besides that, guys, um, stay tuned for another video. I will probably do the next video about my freakish skin condition. And then we'll get back into some true crime videos and, um, yeah, we'll uh, hit the road running and do some other uh, videos about Stockholm and PTSD and all that stuff because there are multiple videos to be done and conversations to be had about that. So anyways, guys, remember, never give up. Always keep fighting. You're enough. You are enough and you're very much loved. Wow, that was a shitty... Let me redo that. Rewind. <laughs> okay, remember. Never give up, always keep fighting, you enough, and you're very much loved. Until the next video, guys, stay safe. Love you guys.